welcome back friends today's topic is regarding how to create this stock in out and balance tracker or the inventory management sheet in microsoft excel as you can see in the screen i have already created this stock in stock out and stock balance tracker let me show you what are the features or how to operate this here in the stock in section you have to enter the details of the stock in or purchase like you can see here there are three purchase transactions made and the total purchase is auto calculated here in the total in section of the stock balance like the television has total in quantity of 18 unit 12 plus 6 18 and here it is calculated in the total in similarly the sales of television is 4 unit which is calculated here currently there is no any stock in transaction for the product fan let me add here a stock in transaction for fan when i entered 24 unit here here you see in the stock balance total in the 24 unit is automatically given similarly if you add here a sales transaction for the product fan suppose that it's five unit and here you see the total is calculated let's start learning how to create this system in microsoft excel for that let me go to the sheet number two in the first cell write the heading that is stock in out and balance tracker in the a2 cell write here stock in or it is purchase then select three cells and merge and center them copy this and paste it beside it and change this to stock out In the next cell, write stock balance. Below the stock in, write here date, product name, and quantity. Select this, copy and paste it below stock out. And here in the stock balance, write here product name. In the next cell, write opening stock. In the next cell, write total in total out and stock balance select from g2 to k2 and merge and center this now increase the column width now select from a2 to k3 range then apply here the border select from a1 to h1 then merge and center then here write month and in this cell write for which month you are making this sheet let's say for june 2025 select the stock in section then add here a color highlight of this color for stock out let me apply this color and for stock balance let's apply this color now add here the inventory item names that you have in your warehouse so let me list out here some electronic product name let's apply the automatic border in the stock balance section so that when the product is added the border will auto appear for that first of all select the range where you want to apply the auto border let me select from g4 to k100 assuming that the product name will go up to 100 row so go to the name box and then put here g4 to k100 press enter this will select the range from g4 to k100 click on the conditional formatting option click on new rule use a formula to determine which cell to format and here in the formula box write this formula equal to dollar symbol column g row number 4 not equal to which is given by less than and greater than symbol together then put double quotation twice to represent blank now click on the format button click on the border tab and here select the color for border let me select this color then click on outline border click on ok again click on ok and here you see the border is applied when there is product name if i add here a new product refrigerator the border is automatically applied 
following the same method let's apply the auto border in the stack in section now when you add here the stock in transaction then the border will automatically apply like if i put here the date of stock in for example june 1st 2025 here you see the border is applied similarly let's apply auto border in the stock out now when you add here a stock out transaction then the border will apply let me put here 622025 and here you see the border applies automatically now we have to create a product selection drop down here in the product name column of stock in and stock out section for that first of all select from b4 to b10000 by going in the name box put here b4 colon b10000 press enter then go to data tab data validation in this drop down select list and in the source click and then select the product name range of the stock balance section that is from g42 g100 because i have assumed the product will go up to 100 row this also you can change according to the requirement then click on ok now here you see in the column b there is a product selection drop down from which you can select the product name this way now you can copy this Control c then select from e4 to e10000 by going here e4 colon e10000 and right click here paste special then select the validation option click on ok and here in the product name column of stock out also the product selection drop down is created where you can choose the product name this way now before using the formula here in the stock in out and balance of the stock balance section let me add here some transaction like here in the stock in i'll put 12 unit of television here in the stock out i'll put three unit of television similarly in june 2nd 2025 there is another stock in transaction of television suppose that it is six unit now here in the stock in total of television these two quantities should be added the total should be 18 here in the total in of television so here we have to use the formula in the opening stock you can put the quantities that you have in your warehouse at the beginning of the period like in the first of june 2025 in this example so let me put here some opening inventory quantities now here in the total in the formula will be the sum if formula so press equal to type sum if bracket open in the range parameter of the sum if formula you have to select the product name range of the stock in section that is the b4 to b10000 range so put here dollar b dollar 4 this is because we have to lock this range colon then put a dollar b dollar 10000 then put a comma in the criteria click on the product name of the stock balance sheet the first product name then put a comma and in the sum range we have to select the quantity range of the stock purchase section that is from c4 to c10000 so put here dollar c dollar 4 to dollar c dollar 10000 then close bracket and press enter and here you see the total stock in is calculated now drag this formula down till the row number 100 and here when there is no product name the result is given as zero if you want to remove this result if there is no product then you can combine here the if function in the formula so double click on the formula click at the starting of the formula then use here the if function open bracket in the logical test check whether this cell has some value so click on this cell not equal to blank then put a comma in the value if true this sum if function will work 
click at the end of the formula put a comma and in the value if false put here double quotation close bracket press enter now go to the fill handle then double click now here you see the value is shown up to the row where there is product name if you add here a new product then it will automatically show the result if there is no any product then the result will be hidden similarly in the stock out also you can use the sum if function combined with the if function so press here equal to if bracket open in the logical test check whether this cell is not equal to blank comma in the value if true use the sum if function to calculate the total stock out sum if open bracket in the range select the product name range of the stock out section that is from the e4 to e10000 so put here a dollar symbol e dollar 4 to dollar e dollar 10000 comma in the criteria select the product name of the stock balance section comma in the sum range select from f4 to f10000 so put here dollar f dollar 4 to dollar f dollar 10000 close bracket then put a comma in the value if false parameter of the if function put double quotation which will display the result blank when there is no any product name close bracket and press enter now drag this formula down till the row number 100 this you can increase whenever required just for example i am taking till row number 100 here you see the total stock out is also calculated if i add here a new transaction of television for example in june 3rd 2025 there is a sales transaction of television suppose that one unit here you see the total is now four unit now to calculate the stock balance the formula is very simple press equal to click on the opening stock plus the total in minus the total out press enter and here in the formula also you can combine the if function so double click click at the starting use if function bracket open in the logical test click on the product name not equal to blank put a comma this formula will work as a value if true click at the end put a comma then in the value if false put double quotation twice close bracket press enter now you can drag this formula till the row number 100 and here you see the stock balance is calculated up to the row where there is product name when you add a new products then these formula will automatically expand up to the row number 100 only if you have to go beyond row number 100 then you have to copy the formulas down like here you see the formulas are up to this 100 row so if you have to go beyond it you have to drag this formula down so that you have to take care now the format is ready you can now start tracking the stock in and out transaction then the stock balance will automatically calculate So this is how you can create this stock in out and balance tracker or the inventory management sheet in Microsoft Excel. If you want to practice this you can download this sample workbook file from the video description below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up by hitting on that like button and also subscribe to the channel to get similar video updates in future. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in next tutorial.